This conference will now be recorded. I need three radio buttons uh, in the selection screen. Along with that, I need I need these parameters also. So one is the sales order number, sales order details, one is the purchase order details, and one is the invoice details. So I I also need the following fields in the selection screen. Uh, what are, what are those? Uh, the first one is your sales order type, which is nothing but your A U A R T. So which is a select option converting into a parameter and I need a default value as OR. So this is the default value and date uh, date. I need it as a select option default values low is current system date minus 60 current system date minus 60 and high is current system date plus 90 purchase order type. So which is a select option converting into a parameter and a default value as NB and company code which is a select option converting into a parameter and default value as 100 sorry 1000. So fiscal year select option default value current year minus 2 in low and high as the current year the current year value has to become when user selects the sales order number it has to show only the sales order type and the date and the date when user select the purchase order number it has to show the date as well as your purchase order type that means for both sales order and purchase order details so the date has to be shown the date has to be show and for invoice it has to show only the company code and the physical year only the company code and the fiscal year and i need the validations i need the validations for for all my selection screen values for all my selection screen values except date and year except for the date and the year i need all the uh, all the validations so you have to write you have to do it all the validations now the output fields so data selection user has selected the sales order details so get the data from these following tables and this is what the output fields is this is what the output fields is user has selected the po details get the details from uh, these tables these are the fields which i required this is on your interaction when the interaction is completed i'm going to give you that one and when the user has selected so get the details from bkpf and bseg so whatever the fields you want you go ahead and get that so header so what is the header if the sales order details if it is sales order details then i need header as sales order details username and date in this following format username and date in this following format and when, when it is a purchase order details when it is a purchase order details I need the purchase order details and the username and date in this format. If invoice, if invoice, then I need the header, the invoice details, and I mean header as invoice details, username and date. Next, ALV footer, so which is nothing but footer, and all rights are reserved. So this is what I need it. Do it with uh, for all entries and your joins. Do it with your for all entries and joins and try to incorporate incorporate all the events try to incorporate all the events so this is what your this is what this is what your assignment is so going forward i am going to increase this assignment uh, when we when once after completing of your uh, interactive reporting so that's we are going to start right now so any questions in any doubts in the assignment any doubts <coughs> okay so try to complete this assignment guys so if you can able to do this assignment with all the validations and the, all the events so i would i would frankly tell you that you are uh, uh, you can able to do any type of report almost like 95 percent of reports you can able to do it there are some complex reports which will come up so which 
might need to put your logical thinking more so that type of reports you can't able to do it until and unless every each and every report you can able to do it okay so this is all about your requirement now let's get started with the next concept uh, called as your interactive reporting i just added the details along with that i have added few more other topics which we are going to see in your upcoming sessions okay now what is this interactive reporting so interactive reporting is after displaying interactive report reporting after displaying the report displaying the report if user wants to interact interact on that report so we do have an interactions on the selection screen we do we can also do an interaction on the reporting output on the reporting output so let's say for example uh, i have cre i have got the details in the output so now when i selected the sales order when i selected the sales order i want to see the corresponding delivery details corresponding delivery details so when those items has been delivered so let's say for example if you have got, if you have purchased uh, some products in amazon so they can be i mean if you have pro if you have 10 items in your cart so they can they can uh, give those 10 items in one 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 delivery or they can split the delivery they can split the delivery with the different different dates so in a same way in this sales order so there is a concept called as delivery splitting also can happen in sap so the delivery splitting uh, either we can do it based upon the quantity or based upon the uh, based upon the entire product entire product so let's say for example because these these sap will be used by uh, big big mnc companies right so let's say for example they have placed an order for 10000 tons of iron 10000 tons of iron so now what they will do whoever is going to supply what they will do they can able to split this with multiple deliveries saying that first delivery i can give you uh, 2000 so i can i can split that into five de different deliveries with uh, 2k ton 2k tons in each delivery 2k tons in each delivery like that they can split it so now i want to see all those deliveries that has been happened for this particular sales order so in that cases we will be we, we can have multiple deliveries so now now if they have double click on this sales order number i want to see the corresponding de de delivery details so in those cases we will be using this interactive reporting interactive reporting so that's all so whenever the user wants to interact on the report output then the interactive report events will be used so even i mean when even after the reporting has been displayed it will use the concept of events only it will use the concept of events only what are those events we have on that the interactive reporting so we have at line selection at user command top of page during the line selection and at pf status so this is obs uh, obsolete so we are not going to use it even when i started my career at that time itself only it's an obsolete statement that's that is almost like uh, close to 15.5 years back itself uh, it's an obsolete statement so right now we are going to use only these three things at line selection at user command and top of page during your line selection so now how sap knows how sap knows which line which line we have selected with the help of a system variable called as sci 
line cell line s e l okay line cell so this is the system variable that will store the content of the line which we selected which we selected so this is of of type cat 255 this is of type cat 255 so now till cat 255 the details can be can be stored by line cell the details can be stored by your line cell okay so hold on for that i will tell you how many interactions we can do it in sap how many so okay uh, one second okay the re, okay the report which the report which will be displayed by the after the selection screen after the selection screen is called as the main report main report or we can also call this as primary report and the report with the help of this input and with the help of this primary report we can create the secondary reports we can create the secondary reports with the help of this we can able to create your secondary reports whatever the these things we can able to create your secondary reports how many secondary reports we can create so totally in sap in sap we can create 20 reports for one single report so with the help of uh, secondary reporting events we can create 20 out of which zero is the primary report primary report and from 1 to 19 are secondary reports secondary reports so now how can we know so let's say you are doing an interactions so you are going into almost like uh, your uh, eighth report or ninth report so how to know how to know in which secondary report you are in which secondary report we are so for this we have a system variable called as psi LSI list indicator LS sorry LSI and D list indicator so list indicator so this is the uh, this is the system variable uh, which will tell you what is the secondary report number so this is the system variable these are most important interview questions so as a fresher they used to ask you so freshers to two to three years of experience they can ask you but you guys are close to almost like uh, six to seven years of experience or eight years of experience you might not able to get this in your interview but remember these two things which report you are in okay so they if they ask you to show you that uh, if they ask you to show us uh, the report number then you have to use this uh, system variable okay so now as i was telling you as i was telling you what are the events uh, uh, in the secondary report so we do have at line selection at user command at uh, top of page i'll just write uh, uh, top of page during line selection so and pf status i'm not going to worry about this so now this we have to call this event at line selection so let me log on to my sap right now so i'm going to sc38 uh, and then let me open our program so this is what the program is i'm just going to open the same program i think yeah we have we have changed this okay so now after your end of page we will just go ahead and say at line selection 
at line selection we have to keep your uh, we have to keep this uh, what i mean to say event we have to keep this event so this is interactive interactive alv interactive alv so sorry interactive reporting my bad interactive reporting at line selection now let me keep a breakpoint over here let me click on uh, activate and now when i click on execute and when i click on execute you will be getting those details now when i select this one when i select this one see here my breakpoint has been triggered so you can get the contents in line cell so whatever the contents you have you can able to get those contents over here see this is of cat 260 255 which i told you and it will be a string type of format so in order to get your details exactly in order to get your details exactly what you have to use you have to use the offset concept what is the issue with this line cell so we can able to write the code with the help of this so now with the help of psi uh, line cell we can able to we can able to get the data we can able to get the data and we will use the offset we will use the offset offset concept and we can able to get what for which field you want to do your interaction we can able to get on which field we want we want to do the interaction we want to do the interaction so we are good with this so now we have done the offset and we have done the interaction too let's say let's say uh, i have added a new field a new field in the output i have added a new field in the output now so this field is is uh, uh, before the field which we have done the offset before the field which we have done the offset then what will happen so again you need to change the offset concept and you have to write your code which will create an issue again so and there is one more thing let's say i want to do the interaction uh, on the field on the field which is greater than 255 characters 255 characters see it is storing the content as a string format so if you have 255 greater than 255 characters if there is one field how can you do the interactions on that particular field so with the help of this it is not going to be possible with that so these are the two issues which will come up when we have going with line cell to avoid this issue sap has came up with a new con new two more syntaxes called as under the line selection hide and get cursor get cursor so hide and get cursor the same thing i have written over here so line selection this event will trigger whenever the user has double clicked uh, on the report output line as we will face an issue with the silent selection with offset concept and greater than 255 characters to avoid this sap has came up with uh, two new statements with two new statements one is hide and one is your get cursor one is hide and one is your get cursor okay hide as well as your get cursor so now after so let's see what is this hide so hide it's hide so hide it's a statement which we will be using in the program to store the work area details it will store the entire work area details in a hide memory in a hide memory so which you can't able to see it 
it will uses the hide memory concept and it will store that it will store the contents what you have been selected so where i have to go ahead and write that command so let me take this as f8 i'll just go back i'll just go back and then you have to write your height statement inside your displaying part so i'll just say hide gs underscore final hide gs underscore final now do your pretty printer and let's get activate the code so now when i click on execute and when i click on execute when i double click on this and now if you see here under your gs underscore final you can able to see whatever the cunt whatever the details you have been selected whatever the details you have been selected that will be catch that will be automatically shown up so it will store those contents in the hide memory so it is going to utilize some more memory in your program it is going to utilize some more memory in your program and it is going to uh, it is going to show up what when you are double clicking so it is utilizing more amount of memory that's one issue that's one issue so now anyways we got the details now what i need to do when whenever the user clicks on uh, this vbe ln i want to show me the list of all the delivery details the list of all the delivery details so the transaction code is lips or lik oh, sorry lkp and lips the tables are so you have to go ahead and write the code but in this system we are facing some issue with the deliveries and everything let me go ahead and write the code for vkvo archi i want to get the details from vkvo archi so now what i will do i'll just go here i'll just say select star from tv cable into table into table at the rate data of lt uh, okay, i'll just write it as lt underscore tv cable where v cable rg is equal to at the rate gs underscore final hyphen v cable rg at the rate gs underscore final hyphen vkvo archi if uh, i'll just say order by order by vkvo archi okay i'm just going to write this and now if lt underscore tvkvo is not initial then i'm going to say loop at lt underscore uh, tvkvo into at the rate sorry into data of ls underscore uh, tvkvo and i am going to say write right ls underscore tvkvo hyphen vkvo rg so let me go ahead and get few more fields so slash ose 11 uh, tvkvo and then i am just going to display that one and uh, uh, the currency type ls underscore tvkvo hyphen your w a e r s and then ls underscore tvkvo hyphen b u k r s and then um, that's it let's take these other fields i want to display that in my output now do your pretty printer and let's get activate the code i'm just going to activate now on my vkvo rg i have done an interaction now let me click on execute i think i'm didn't show you the yeah so activate execute and execute now when i double click on this one the vkvo rg now my breakpoint has been selected and now i'm just going to showcase that in my output F8. See, my secondary report has been displayed. My secondary report has been displayed. Now, the next thing is what is the issue? Now, let's say, for example, I want to do an interaction on my sales order number as well as my uh, my VKO RG as well as my material. So, wherever you have selected, it will just display only the VKO RG details. 
wherever i go ahead and selected wherever i go ahead and selected irrespective of the field what you selected it will display only one common report so based upon the field wise i want to display separate separate reports i want to display separate separate reports it is not going to be happen it is always a one to one relationship one to one relationship so that's an issue with this lines with this hide statement one issue is it will store the entire contents of your internal table into an hide memory into a hide memory which is one issue the second issue is uh, we can't able to we can't able to do multiple interactive reporting on field wise uh, on field wise we can't able to do your multiple reporting to to overcome this issue sap has came up with a new thing called as uh, your get cursor yeah get cursor that's what i have written so see here it's a statement which is used it is used which is used in the program to hide the values that has been selected in a memory and that memory we will be calling it as your hide memory the syntax issue sap uses the concept called as hide memory where we are utilizing more amount of memory and if i need multiple reports on a single line it is not going to pause it, it is not possible with the help of your hide statement now the next thing is the get cursor this will point out to the variable what you have selected what you have selected so it's like as a change pointers concept so which point you have go ahead and select that content will get it not the entire line so if you if you click on the sales organization it will get that content of your sales organization if you click on the um, sales order number it will get the content of your sales order number if you click on the material it will get the content of your material so with the help of this we can we can uh, create n number of uh, uh, secondary reports n number of secondary reports for one field you can create 19 sub reports so when you go into the second one and then also you can go ahead and create for one field 18 sub reports and when you go into the third report for one field you can create 17 uh, secondary reports like that so it will be like uh, a hell number of reports you can able to do it with the help of your get cursor so now what is the syntax for this the, the syntax is so we will be just writing get cursor field field name field field name so i'm just right i'm trying to do this uh, okay you have to declare these field names so data i'm just going to say lv underscore field why i'm writing local variables you will be coming to know when we started with your modularization so till now i have used all my gvs from here onwards i'm trying to use my lv so why i'm using lv you will come to know so now data lv underscore uh, field so we don't know what is the length of that field if i go here gs uh, these are all having the length of five characters. They can be a chance. See here we have a different length So we don't know the length of the field So if you don't know the length of the field what you need to give we have to give it as string We have to give it a string and then I'm going to have So field field name. So I'm just going to pass my field name value you have to provide your value name i don't know the value name so i'm just going to have my value type uh, string we don't know the length of the value which we are going to get so i'm just going to say lv underscore your value so now let me keep a breakpoint over here after this i'm going to keep a breakpoint breakpoint and now let me do my pretty printer and let's get activate your code now let me click on execute and let me click on execute you will be getting your details now when i selected this on my material so see here so the field name is the material number the field name is 
your material number and in the value you will be able to get your value you will be able to get your value now if i go ahead and select uh, your sales order number see vbe ln and what is the value you have selected now if i go ahead and select uh, your uh, uh sales organization see my sales organization has been came up so on which field you have going to select that content only we we used to get that now i'll just go ahead and execute now what i am going to do i'll just go ahead and use my case statement so case on lv underscore field lv underscore field so now when gs underscore final hyphen vko rg vko rg then we have to use your here you have to pass your lv final lv underscore value but this lv value is of different type and vko rg is of four characters if i go to your vko rg it's of four characters and this is of type different so what we need to do we have to convert the value into our uh, our vko rg type so and we have to use your conversion routine also you have to use your conversion routine if i go to my vko rg if i go to my domain we don't have your conversion routine so you don't need to write that conversion routine so now what i am going to do data lv underscore uh, vko rg is equal to convert vko rg of uh, lv underscore uh, your value i just converted that lv underscore your value now i am going to use that one directly over here but when you are writing it in s4 you can directly use this in your where condition you can directly use that in your where condition without creating a variable but in ecc it's not working first of all let me try this if it is going to work if it is not working then i'll call that variable over there no it's not working it's not working so now what i will do i'll go ahead and say lv underscore vko rg now when i do my pretty printer so sorry i didn't complete the end case now when i do my pretty printer it's just it now the next one is when gs underscore final hyphen uh, vbe ln so i'm just going to select this one so now for this vbe ln so you need to do your conversion so data lv underscore vbe ln vbe ln is equal to so first of all i am going to convert that vbe ln underscore va so this is the data element of lv underscore value and then i am also going to use my conversion routine i know it's an alpha so alpha equal to in so two statements i am going to do it in one single line of code two statements i'm going to do it in one single line of code and i'll just say write write uh, so sales order interactive report logic has to be written inter interactive report logic it's to write it's to write so this is what the thing is now at the same way when i selected the material so gs underscore final hyphen m-a-t-n-r so now i'm also going to do the internal conversion routine for my material so lv underscore m-a-t-n-r is equal to i'll just go ahead and say convert m-a-t-n-r uh, of m-a-t-n-r of lv underscore value and uh, alpha equal to in <coughs> now 
I'll just go ahead and say write uh, material report logic needs to be material report logic needs to be right. So that's it. Now do your pretty printer and let's get activate your code. So I just activated. Now when I click on execute, when I click on execute, now if I double if I selected PO SNR, see it has gone, it has gone to that code. But but did we write the logic for my PO SNR? No, we didn't write any logic. Now if I say F8, see here, it will not do any interaction. But when I go ahead and do on my 9000, it will display your secondary report. When I go ahead and do on my sales order, it will display your secondary report. I just shown you the sales order interactive report logic needs to be written. Now when I go ahead and display, it will just say the material. See, so based upon the field wise, you can able to do your interaction. So this is called as your get cursor. This is called as your get cursor. Now the next thing is uh, your top of page. Your uh, I'm just going to I'm just going to tell you this. After that, I'll go ahead and tell you your at user command because at user command will take some time. So that's the reason. Now the next thing is uh, the top of page during the line selection. What is this? So this will display this will display the constant header constant header in all my secondary reports in all my secondary reports in all my secondary reports I want the same constant header to be gets displayed then we will be using this top of page during your line selection during your line selection so now i'm going to say this as right side you line and then right right so secondary report page number so secondary report list number secondary report list number and I'm going to take this as a uh, uh, Psi LIS Sorry LS IND LS IND and then I'm going to take this I'm going to take this as right uh, Psi U line so I just want to show you the secondary risk report number so I'm just going to activate this I'll just click on execute I'll just click on execute. Let me go back. Let me go back and uh, let me remove the breakpoint. And I'll just activate this code. And now when I click on execute and when I click on execute, it will show you the details. When I double click on this, see here secondary list report number one. So even if you select this on the uh, VKO RG, see the same secondary list report number one. So even if I selected the sales order number, the same secondary list report number one will be populated because for that interaction, this is the first secondary report. For that interaction, this is your first secondary report. Okay, so this is how you have to go ahead and create your uh, uh, your interactive reporting under your uh, under interactive reports. This is how we have to create your interactive reports and the last event is at user command at user command so this so so this is used so i'm just going to give you the highlights of this and then i'll just go and i'll just uh, i'll just stop the class for the day at user command so let's say for example i want to create some buttons some buttons i want to create some buttons in the report output report output so where you are going to create so in this area we will be going to create your buttons so how you are going to create the buttons so in order to create your buttons 
so like whatever the buttons you want let me let's say i want to uh, do an email functionality i want to do a download functionality i want to do a download functionality or i want to do an email functionality or i want to uh, take a printout functionality like that i want to have different different buttons in my in my report output so to create this uh, to create the buttons in your report output we will use a a concept called as your screen painter which is nothing but your se41 the transaction code is se41 the screen painter so with the help of this screen paint sorry menu painter menu painter it's not a screen painter screen painter is sc51 so menu painter so we will use a menu painter and we will create our own menus we'll create our own menus own toolbar and this entire toolbar is going to be catch change the entire toolbar the menus and even the application toolbars is going to be gets change okay so you have to go ahead and create your own menu and we will add we will add our required buttons we will add our required buttons in the report the report output now if the if if so if when whenever the user clicks on that button so it has to done this corresponding logic in order to write that corresponding logic we will be using this yet use user command we'll be using this at user command so how to do this how to create this menu how to work with your menu painter and how to add the buttons and how to write the logic at user command so this we are going to see in your tomorrow's session and then i'm going to give you an assignment in the tomorrow's session so that's the end of today's session before i signing off for today's session any other questions so yesterday's recording is not uploaded so i'll be uploading it today apart from that you can ask me any other question so ravi like uh, now we are working with interactive reports so is there the interaction can be done on secondary report or it's on only on primary report you can so that's what i told you right uh, uh, you can create uh, uh, 20 uh, 19 reports so on the second okay. report you go ahead and do your interaction okay so it's that again the same writing. concept sorry so sorry proceed ravi sorry yeah that you have to write down again in your at line selection let's say for example i have done an interaction over here when i double click on this so let me go ahead and keep a break point again so i'll show you that one it will go ahead and trigger your uh, so when i double click on this so it will just display you this when i double click over here it will again come to your line selection itself event okay so now what is your field name see ls underscore tv ko hyphen uk rs you have to write down the logic on this particular field okay okay so this is how you have to do your interactions clear yeah ravi thanks yeah any other questions guys so ravi the 19 reports that you told is at the depth of each field right like right. from the primary report one field can have 19 uh, sub reports report. like in depth right and there is no limit for uh, uh, like uh, how much we can have it on the whole primary report like how many our columns we have that many reports uh, nine, into 19 we can have right it's like uh, 19 I... c 19 i would say 19 p 19 19 into 18 into 17 into 16 into like that so if, if you go into the second report now you can on this particular field you can create 18 reports on this particular ah, field right. you can create 18 report so it's ah, uh, right. a permutation 19p90 uh, okay now i am talking about the primary report like we now created two sub reports on the primary report itself right? like sales order and the uh, material. material and one more we created now this material can have uh, uh, 18 more and sales order can have 18 more right right, right. Okay. So that's your question. 
yes yes so i wanted to know if there is any limit on the primary report like no, how many ever columns we have that many into 19 we can have right okay yeah thank you okay yeah any other questions guys okay so that's it so i'm winding up the session right now so we'll meet you tomorrow at the same time and we'll continue with our session so thank you thank you all thank you all bye thank you bye